was always with other people around, and it's meant to be that way. It was always about community. I'm Paula from White Barn Farm Sheep and Wool, located here in New Paltz, New York, at the base of the beautiful Schwangunk Mountains. In my former life, I had a decorative art studio for 25 years. I did murals, I worked with interior designers, we did everything from casinos to gorgeous homes in the south of France. So about eight years ago, I made the shift, and now I run a sheep farm and have a fiber shop. And pursue my art. Before I started, I did a lot of investigation into which breeds would work here and also the type of fiber I would want to work with. So I went for the softer breeds. I raise a Cormo, which is a Corydale Merino cross. It's very fine. It's very springy. The sheep themselves are lovely. So I'm actually breeding in this other breed called California Red. I think it's gonna really be amazing. We designed the fiber to create different types of, of yarns, and then I hand dye. I have a dye garden I'm growing. I also have learned about the plants I can wild craft around here. And it's just so fascinating to sort of collect the flowers, kind of be in sync with the seasons, see what's growing at that time, and see what nature has to offer. When I first started, I went to the local hand spinners guild. I said, I have this idea to do this thing. Do you think it'll work? Then I got a whole bunch of people from that guild coming down. Since then, a few of my teachers have come out of there. We teach everything from beginning knitting to special techniques in knitting. We do spinning to show people how to do hand-painted yarn, plant dyeing and acid dyeing. We do felting. So it's really important to have a community of people sort of helping you along to do something like this.